The declaration was extended today. Mayor Ted Wheeler's office is hoping to reduce the number of houseless people hit and killed on Portland roads. PBOT's Vision Zero report says 70% of pedestrian deaths last year involved people living on the streets. And this declaration says no camping is allowed on high cross streets and intersections. Fox 12's Drew Marine joins us now live to tell us more. Drew. Yeah, because the emergency declaration doesn't allow camping on dangerous roads or state highways like I-5, the city's impact reduction program will provide or will remove camps there and provide other shelter options to campers. Southeast 82nd and Harney Street is one of dozens of campsites across Portland. Sarah Alvarez owns Cookie McCake Face in Cartlandia right across the street and says she's seen campers there. Some of the side streets like Harney and like Luther, that area a little bit, um, not so much on 82nd itself, um, but yeah, the side streets for sure. It's one the city of Portland's impact reduction program has cleaned in an effort to get campers off dangerous roads. Last week, IRP received more than 1,000 reports of new campsites. They say they've removed 17 and cleaned nine. This effort to clear camps comes after the Portland Bureau of Transportation released their Vision Zero report, which says 70% of pedestrian deaths in 2021 were people who were experiencing homelessness. I mean, it shouldn't be pedestrian deaths anyway, but that, that percentage is that many that are houseless is really concerning and makes me worry that uh, the problem is maybe more prevalent than I thought where they're out in this street. Mayor Wheeler's office declared an emergency on February 4th and extended it for another two weeks prohibiting people from camping along high crash corridors, which includes streets like Southeast 82nd Avenue. The declaration says they've partnered with the Joint Office of Homeless Services to offer 100 beds per day as COVID-19 restrictions are lifted. IRP is required to give at least 72 hours notice, and they educate campers on other shelters so they can move off of these dangerous roadways. Alvers says she understands it's a safety issue, but isn't sure moving campers is the right solution. I know that it's dangerous for them to be out in the streets. It's dangerous for pedestrians and other drivers when they're in the streets. It would be nice if there was a resource to help them maintain their campsites and keep them out of the way. I don't know that moving them is necessarily a solution because where are they going to go? This also comes after Mayor Wheeler's aide Sam Adams proposed massive 1,000 person shelters staffed by the National Guard. Tonight, a spokesperson for the mayor's office says while he supports safe rest villages, he doesn't think that's enough. But he also understands that running a 1,000 person shelter would be difficult to manage safely and humanely. The statement from his office reads in part, quote, this project is just starting. The emergency declaration will create a renewed sense of urgency around the clearly stated priority of the mayors to get every Portlander off of the street and into safe shelter. Live in Southeast Portland, Drew Marine, Box 12, Oregon.